And finally, we are at the stage when we will send our PCB for production. For that, we have to generate the production files. Here, you can go into the project and select uh, Add New, and here, Output Job File. This Output Job File will have different features, different files for the production. And actually, there are two main files for that. One is um, Gelber files for masks and the NC drill files for drilling holes. I will go here into Fabrication Outputs and I will first select Gerber files. That one, PCB document. Double clicking the Gerber files will open the menu when I can select how, what is the for format of these files. In general, I can use anything. Uh, most manufacturers can accept any format I select. And the most important are layers. Let's go through them. I have to include all the layers I want for production. And please note that I made a single-sided PCB, but I would like to make it a like a double-sided metallized hole PCB uh, professionally. So I will select also bottom layer. Going first top layer, bottom layer. These are copper layers. Then I will go in for top solder mask and bottom solder mask. Then top paste. Top paste is for uh, pasting the solder paste uh, with stencil. So if I if I want to use the PCB for uh, in automatic placements, I would have to add this to make the stencil. Top overlay is the text on top. On bottom, I don't have any component, so I will not include bottom paste, and I don't have any text on bottom, so I will not include bottom overlay. For the size of the PCB, for the shape, to, for cutout, I used mechanical one layer. Okay. And the rest I should leave as default. I will also add the NC drill file, numerical control drill file for drilling holes. Here I will double click this and more or less all the formats should stay as they are and all the rest is okay. So I'll just skip that and I'll have these two files ready. I will go into folder structure here and I will select that these two output files have to be saved into the folder. And now I will save this file. So I will save the output job file into my first project. And that's it. Now the files are ready for generation. I will generate the content and I will get some outputs and the files are ready here under generated. Under generated I have the Camtastic documents and I have text documents. So under Camtastic I have all the output files. Gerber bottom layer is the bottom layer, bottom copper. It's just a few pads. Bottom solder mask. These pads are opened in solder mask. Machine, uh, no, not machine, the mechanical layer one. That's the shape of the PCB. And please note here that there are two small squares inside. But that's strange. Where did they come from? If you go back to the PCB, you will quickly see that this is actually a feature which was saved in this component as a mechanical designation of the size of the component. And it was not in all components. Mechanical layers are arbitrary layers. You can use it for anything. And someone that did this capacitor used it to denote the size of the capacitor. And I accidentally used the same layer for denoting the size of the PCB. And now I have this in my design. So what should I do? Can I delete this? Well, in this editor, it's very awkward to do anything. So usually I don't use it. I never use it. So I will just either I will repair the component or I will change the layer here in the design. I will change. I can change the layer for this shape of the PCB or maybe I just ignore it and I send it to the manufacturer. And if he asks me what are these two squares here, I can just tell him ignore it and use the other border. OK. I will use the later because I don't have time for the rest. Top layer is the layer for the top. Then top copper, top overlay is the text on top. 
top paste is the stencil for paste uh, for printing the solder paste top solder layer is the solder opening on top for soldering and finally the text file is the nc drill file the holes of the through hole um, through hole pads now everything is here i can actually look at it in the folder i will just click somewhere here and use explore now this is the content of the folder and um, let me check out let me check the gerber file how it looks like inside i will open it with the notepad this is how it looks like so it's a text-based file which has some definitions here of the tools and then the location of each of these tools is given later and this is how you can quickly check if your gerber file looks familiar okay I will now look also in the NC drill file, which is, I think, here. The only one that is actually needed is the text file, that one. And here you see the location of all three pairs of holes for the true hole pads. So now all that can be added to the zip file. Let's say I will go to here. I will select all these Gerber files and send them to zip. Okay, going back and I will also select this text file, Control C and add it to this zip file, Control V. So now that zip file is actually ready to send to the manufacturer. So let me show you how this might look like. I will go to uh, one of the manufacturers I often use and here I will start to order the PCB. I will quote and I will select add Gerber files. So I will go to the project that I just made and I will select this zip file, open. It is now uploaded and they will automatically analyze it and show the results, which is quite useful. As you see here, we have it the top layer, we have the bottom layer and I can select the number of layers, there are two, the dimensions are given automatically, five PCB quantity, let's say we want five of these, one design, single PCB, 1.6 millimeter thickness, green solder mask, and the surface finish should be lead free, HASL at least, hot air solder levering, or maybe gold, whatever you want, but the price is different as you see, quite different, $3 or 18 Okay, going further, copper weight, one or two uh, ounces per square foot would mean 35 or 70 microns. And what else? The material type is only one, so I don't have nothing to choose. I choose the full electrical test. I think there is no difference, actually. They always do the full electrical test. And that's it. Okay, I can analyze even further. I can click Herbert Viewer. And going to the Gerber viewer, I will actually be able to see in details how these Gerbers were interpreted. And if there is any issue, I can type in then the uh, note uh, at the order. Okay, so this is how the PCB looks from top and this is how it looks from bottom. As you see here, there are some strange features here. Maybe these are holes in the PCB, who knows? Well, these are the consequence of these two square-like features in the uh, in the in the mechanical one layer uh, so that's probably something that these guys will ask you hey what's that can you please clarify what should we do with that and then you can write okay just just ignore it okay let me see what else solder mask on off the silk screen okay then the copper on off outline and drill outline is the size of the PCB. Okay, so that's that's the inspection. I think it looks okay. Here back you can just type in ignore do those two small squares in the um, mechanical one layer and they will ignore it. So you can save that on order and this is how you actually made your first PCB and order it to be produced.
And um, that's the end of the series of this initial um, introduction to Altium, when I took you through the process of uh, making uh, schematics and PCB uh, in a very quickly and simple way. The more, more, detailed, uh, more detailed videos will follow when I will go through the more advanced functions of the Altium and I will also pay more attention.